Good evening. Each year, a number of children and young adults die suddenly from cardiac problems that are associated with a small subgroup of disorders and high-risk behaviors. While sudden cardiac death in any child or young adult is distressing, it can be particularly devastating when it occurs in a seemingly healthy young athlete. Although uncommon in competitive sport, sudden death is a catastrophe that physicians who care for athletes should attempt to prevent. Today, we are visiting this issue to avoid having more death in our talented children. It was just some short breathing. Just a little dizzy. And just a hard heartbeat. Easy to think. It must be just from the heat of the game. But every year for some teenage athletes, these are the warning signs. The countdown clock to sudden cardiac death. I think the prevalence, um, how much is out there, is a lot more than we first thought. Sudden cardiac arrest in a young person usually stems from a structural defect in their heart or a problem with its electrical circuitry. The abnormality stays hidden until they reach their teens and start playing a sport that gets their heart pumping hard. They make a big basket, they're walking away, and all of a sudden their heart flow gets disrupted. It causes this arrhythmia, and then two, three seconds later they pass out. Dr. David Price of Carolina's Medical Center is the director of the Heart of a Champion program. Of the 1,500 athletes screened for heart problems every year, about a handful are sent for further testing, and one or two sidelined indefinitely because of a defect that could kill them. Their lives may be saved, but their activities forever changed. Things that aren't going to get the heart rate up, okay? But beyond that, you're at risk still. If your area doesn't offer a screening program, Dr. Price recommends athletes add an EKG or echocardiogram to their sports physical. The results, he says, must then be interpreted by a physician familiar with EKG results on athletes. That's because hard exercise develops a young heart and the small changes that will show on the EKG can easily be misread by an inexperienced eye. The American Heart Association points out that there is no nationally accepted standard for screening pre-participation athletes because of medical costs, false alarms, and lack of evidence that EKG and echo screening reduces the number of deaths. They recommend athletes stick to a personal and family history assessment and physical exam designed to identify cardio issues, all before hitting the field or court. Parents, go to your athletes' physicals to make sure they know their medical history or don't leave something out in hopes of staying in the game. Learn CPR and find out if your sporting areas have automated external defibrillators and train staff. A healthy body and healthy heart are the most important equipment they have. Good evening. Get caught up and educated with past episodes of Time Waits for No One. Go to YouTube and search for Toledo Cardiology Consultants to find our channel. Then click to subscribe so you never miss an episode. Remember, time waits for no one. Screening is a process designed to identify the athlete who might have a heart condition. With the screening, a wide net is to identify children and young adults who weren't further testing. It's good to know that even when screen is positive, it's much more likely that the athlete has a normal heart and not a rare heart disease. These screening tests recommended prior to sports participation and is usually performed between 12 and 15 years of age. The question we ask ourselves, do all children need pre-participation cardiac screening and how important it is? Well, consider this. Every year in the United States, about 100 young athletes die from sudden cardiac arrest. 65% of these are in the high school age group. Of every 50,000 athletes, one death is due to a cardiac condition. Sudden death due to an identified cardiac condition occurs without warning signs. Such a tragic loss causes fear and confusion for parents, families, and friends, and the community. It's important to recognize that the cardiac conditions implicated are identifiable during life. There are known treatment strategies 
that help reduce the risk of death. Also, once a child is identified to have a cardiac disease, his relatives with, it, with that kind of disease should be identified at the right time. It's important that real risk is considered and estimated before participation in any kind of sport. Parents and children get the opportunity to make informed decision making regarding sport participation. Exercise and career planning. I should mention that there is no evidence that it discourages sports participation. Rather, it raises awareness and promotes a health lifestyle. It's endorsed by all of the societies, including American Medical Association, American Heart Association, American Pediatric Association. All of them endorse these kind of testing. Now, if we want to ask that big question, what are the heart disease that cause sudden death in children and young athletes? In young athletes, the conditions are congenital malformation as the most common one of the heart valves or the arteries of the heart. Sometimes rhythm disorders of the heart can lead to these kind of problems. Sometimes weakening in the heart muscle. It is a different profile than adults with coronary artery disease causing heart attack. And for that reason, checking those problems with your doctors is going to be the best approach to identify those disease. So how can we discover those children who are at high risk for any major event? before they play that major sport in the community. For that reason, that pre-sport screening test or pre-sport evaluation, PPE, is the most important test identified and endorsed by many American societies. Well, this screening is usually performed by primary care physician, and that include a questionnaire to be filled out by the family and the children themselves. There are questions to answer about symptoms of heart disease and families uh, of heart condition. This questionnaire is reviewed with the athletes and the family during the screening physical examination that looks for signs of heart disease. If during the screen, the primary care physician identifies any concern that the child is referred to a pediatric cardiologist for further evaluation. The symptoms which we are looking for in that PPE ex exam is really the heart disease symptoms, which is include chest pain or discomfort, difficulty with breathing, shortness of breath with exercise, dizziness and fainting, heart rhythm disorders, irregular heartbeat, all of these could comes with exercise or rest with those children when we examine them. The signs of heart condition that the doctors will look for during the screening physical examination are high blood pressure, abnormal heart sounds, and abnormal rhythm. Who says you can't get a house call anymore? Cardiovascular Physician Management specializes in outpatient services offering high-level care in the comfort of your home. Imagine a physician's assistant, nurse, or therapist visiting you, contacting a cardiologist, and adjusting your meds or treatment plan to fit your progress. If your doctor prescribes home health care, think of CPM, Cardiovascular Physician Management. Call 419-251-6100 or online at cpm-homecare.com. It's time to change your future with Toledo Cardiology Consultants. What will your tomorrow look like? Will you be quick enough to throw a football with your grandchild? Will you be strong enough to embrace every moment? Will you grow old with vitality and joy, or will you get old with heart disease? It's time to decide. See your doctor. Get a plan. Come on, guys. You can do it. Because remember, time waits for no one. Every day you listen to the news, but how is that news affecting your financial world? Things like your retirement and your kid's college fund. You need someone who can help you work towards that goal. Someone to help you move forward in these times of change. Call the Roop Prisby Williams Group at Morgan Stanley. Joel, Jim, and Deb each have 25 years of experience as financial advisors, and their team is right here in Northwest Ohio. To make an appointment with Joe, Jim, or Deb, call 419-842-6505. Investments and services offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC. Member SIP. PC.
You're living a full and productive life because you've always committed to giving the best of yourself to everything you do. And there's so much to look forward to. Children's weddings, the second honeymoon, your philanthropic work, just to name a few. The dedicated physicians at Toledo Cardiology Consultants are committed to your cardiac excellence, so you'll be there for the experiences of your lifetime that are yet to come. To learn more, visit Toledo Cardiology at ToledoCardiology.com. That's ToledoCardiology.com. Now, what should the family expect during the visit to the pediatric cardiologist or the expert? Well, you have to do your homework. Prepare all of the information about your family, about the symptoms which your kids had, and about your family history, specifically the sudden death in the family, or if the family has evidence of heart disease in the last few years, such as there is relatives who died suddenly at young age of less than 30. You need to find out if there's anyone family, even if they are far from you, not the immediate family. Is there congenital de deafness in the family? or heart rhythm disorders, or enlarged heart in the family members who has unexplained fainting episode during exercise or high emotion. Also, history of relatives with early heart disease at age less than 50 years in women and 55 years in men. During that visit, the child will undergo a physical examination and an electrocardiogram known as ECG or EKG. This test look at the rhythm of the heart and detect heart is enlarged, having normal rhythm, abnormal rhythm, extra beat, any of those rhythm problem will be identified, but also could suggest some elements or sign for further testing needs to be done for those children. One of those tests which is, could be done if the EKG suggesting major abnormalities is called echocardiogram or the ultrasound of the heart which is showing the moving images of the heart valves, the heart muscle, all of this stuff which is an example is what you see here next to me. That one is giving us enough information, more than 90% of the information about the heart condition and the valves and the function and the pump portion of the heart which is really provide enough support for the diagnosis of problems with those children or there is no problem with those children. The echocardiogram is one of those tests which is we recommend for the people who need it in that pre-screening, pre-sport screening. And as you can see on the monitor here, this is a very simple ultrasound test showing us the heart chambers, including the upper chambers of the heart and the lower chambers of the heart. On top of that, it show how good is the heart muscle functioning, which is really the pumping portion of that heart. Additional to that, which is really very important, is to see the valves. These are two valves, and in different views, we can look at the other two valves in the heart, and that will give us an idea about the function of the valves, if it's normal or not, because some of the kids, they will have a valvular problem, which is hidden or not identified yet. This is different from what we are talking in the EKG where it shows the rhythm problem, which is completely different scenario. But that's really an advanced technology, allow the physician, allow the, the pediatric cardiologist to have a great idea about your kid's heart. So if we consider this is a normal healthy heart, we can see that the heart chamber size and function is very normal. On the other hand, if we found that the heart size is significantly enlarged or the heart muscle is extremely weak, that will increase risk, the risk of that athlete or young adult to have a major cardiac event, including sudden death, and we could prevent that kid from having that ability to play sport at that point or save his life. Recovering from surgery or a cardiac event can be stressful. Why not have a personal medical visit in the comfort of your own home? Outpatient services from Cardiovascular Physician Management can reduce stress and offer a higher level of care for you or a loved one. CPM can send a physician's assistant, nurse, or therapist to your home to monitor your progress and potentially adjust your treatment plan based on your recent progress. Why go to the office when help can come to you? Call CPM today, 419-251-6100, or online at cpm-homecare.com. It's time to change your future with Toledo Cardiology Consultants. What will your tomorrow look like? 
Will you be quick enough to throw a football with your grandchild? Will you be strong enough to embrace every moment? Will you grow old with vitality and joy? Or will you get old with heart disease? It's time to decide. See your doctor, get a plan. Come on guys, you can do it. Because remember, time waits for no one. You're living a full and productive life because you've always committed to giving the best of yourself to everything you do. And there's so much to look forward to. Children's weddings, the second honeymoon, your philanthropic work, just to name a few. The dedicated physicians at Toledo Cardiology Consultants are committed to your cardiac excellence, so you'll be there for the experiences of your lifetime that are yet to come. To learn more, visit Toledo Cardiology at ToledoCardiology.com. That's ToledoCardiology.com. Life is filled with uncertainties. Your career, your health, your family situation, they're all subject to change. So how can you plan for your future when you don't know what it will hold? The Roop Prisby Williams Group of Financial Advisor Team at Morgan Stanley can help. Joel, Jim, and Deb will work with you to create a wealth plan and to help you manage your investments through all the changes. And the great thing is they're right here in Northwest Ohio. To make an appointment with Joe, Jim, and Deb, call 419-842-6505. Investments and services offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney LLC, member SIPC. there are other tests that also may be performed. A stress test or an exercise test involved running on the treadmill or riding a stationary bike like the ones found in fitness club. During that, EKG and blood pressure are continuously monitored. The tests give important information about endurance and can detect abnormal rhythm and circulation during exercise and sport that blood pressure and heart rate respond to exercise. One of the other testing is a Holter monitor or event recorder specifically we use to identify abnormal rhythm we cannot see during that visit to the physician or to the pediatric cardiologist. One of those important tests we do for everyone as pre-screening is the electrocardiogram. This is a machine which we do the electrocardiogram on. And technically there's multiple leads, 12 leads. We attach it to our chest wall and that will give us all of the waves and electrical impulse in our heart where we can detect any kind of rhythm problem or any signs which is, could suggest a heart problem. The second element is the stress test. That's another test we do it for the people who need it. And not every kid in that pre-sports screening should have a treadmill. That treadmill only for the people who are having chest discomfort or shortness of breath when they are playing sport. So in reality, that treadmill test, the, the kids run on the treadmill while we are connected to that EKG machine. And we are able to monitor their rhythm and monitor their changes in their EKG during that treadmill. In some rare circumstances, because younger kids usually they don't have blockages in their heart in general, but in some circumstances if we need more information about the blood distribution of the heart muscle, we do what we call nuclear stress test. That nuclear stress test is going to allow targeting the red blood cells in our heart where we mark it and subsequently we using nuclear machine to detect those red blood cells. And for that reason, we get beautiful images allowing us to look into the heart muscle function, the oxygen distribution and the blood distribution in the heart muscle. And that's basically the final images for that heart. Looking around those circles showing us that this is a beautiful normal heart. The blood distribution is 100% normal with no evidence to suggest there is any blockages. For that reason, all of these information we are getting from all of these tests help the family physician, the pediatrician, and the pediatric cardiologist to come with the best conclusion possible about the safety of playing sport for your kid for our kid to keep them alive and to enjoy them for the rest of your life. Now, if all of the tests which we did did not provide all of the information we need 
to identify the medical problem with our kids and our athletes. At that point, some more testing could be required, including imaging testing, and that include the CT scan, which is everybody knows, or MRI, which is, could provide more information about the heart chamber size and function and identify some of the hidden uh, problems in the heart. Now, if all of the tests and the exam reveal that there is a medical condition to be addressed, how can we deal with it? It's important to know that most children with a positive screen will have a normal heart evaluation performed by the pediatric cardiologist and will have a healthy heart. If a condition is discovered, more testing may be needed to figure out the appropriate treatment and to determine if sport participation should be limited. For mild condition, there may be no restriction at any time or very minimal restriction for those kids. For other condition, there may be sports restriction until further evaluation and treatment are complete. And in more serious condition, patient may be restricted from certain types of sport indefinitely. It's important to know that the pediatric cardiologist or your family doctor will make a very good effort to recommend a level of physical activity that will keep the child safe but allow an active lifestyle. So the bigger question before we get into that screening and to that physical exam to go to the specialist is the relationship between the parents and the kids. So it's so important for the mom and dad to watch their kids and identify any signs which is, could be a clue that maybe their kids are at high risk for cardiac event if they will play that active sport the way we know it lately. For that reason, that's, a very, that's the first step where the mom and dad can watch the kids and make a decision if they need more aggressive evaluation on top of that pre-sports screening we are talking about. Now let's go back and ask ourselves why we do notice lately an increased incidence of cardiac events in our children or young athletes. It's very simple. Many children right now, they are more active in sport comparing to what it used to be in the past. Additional to that, most of these sports are becoming more aggressive and more violent probably sport the way we knew it, knew it in the past. The third most element that rarely the parents or the families take their kids for what we are recommending for the pre-sport screening or evaluation. To address the growing rate of sudden cardiac arrest in young athletes, what could be offered to reduce the risk in the community? Our pediatric cardiologist, our family doctors, our pediatrician should work one-on-one -on -one with area school to do the following. Educate coaches and staff about heart conditions. Offer electrocardiogram screening to identify athletes at risk. Encourage CPR training and all the insulation of automatic external defibrillator AED near gyms in any area where the sport is played in our community. Who says you can't get a house call anymore? Cardiovascular Physician Management specializes in outpatient services offering high-level care in the comfort of your home. Imagine a physician's assistant, nurse, or therapist visiting you, contacting a cardiologist, and adjusting your meds or treatment plan to fit your progress. If your doctor prescribes home health care, think of CPM, Cardiovascular Physician Management. Call 419-251-6100 or online at cpm-homecare.com. Every day you listen to the news, but how is that news affecting your financial world? Things like your retirement and your kid's college fund. You need someone who can help you work towards that goal. Someone to help you move forward in these times of change. Call the Roop Prisby Williams Group at Morgan Stanley. Joel, Jim, and Deb each have 25 years of experience as financial advisors, and their team is right here in Northwest Ohio. To make an appointment with Joe, Jim, or Deb, call 419-842-6505. Investments and services offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC. Member SIP. PC. Local doctors and experts keeping you educated on your health. Time waits for no one. Encore presentations Fridays at 1.30 on WTOL 11. 
You're living a full and productive life because you've always committed to giving the best of yourself to everything you do. And there's so much to look forward to. Children's weddings, the second honeymoon, your philanthropic work, just to name a few. The dedicated physicians at Toledo Cardiology Consultants are committed to your cardiac excellence, so you'll be there for the experiences of your lifetime that are yet to come. To learn more, visit Toledo Cardiology at ToledoCardiology.com. That's ToledoCardiology.com. Many American medical associations, including American College of Cardiology, American Heart Association, American Family Physicians, endorsed recommendation for cardiovascular screening of student athletes as part of a comprehensive sport pre-participation physical evaluation called PPE. Knowledge and understanding of these recommendations can help physicians make informed decisions about the eligibility of an athlete to participate in a particular sport and encourage development of a more uniform PPE screening process. Most states currently require that kids and teens have a sports physical before they can start a new sport or begin a new competitive season. But even if a sport physical is not required, doctors still highly recommend getting one. Every year, physicians all over the world are asked to perform pre-participation physical evaluation, PPE, for children involved in sports. The pre-participation physical evaluation should be brief, yet comprehensive enough to determine which athletes are at risk. The examination may help determine the athlete's general health and maturity level, but also uncover any disqualifying condition. PPEs should be performed four to six weeks prior to initiation of the sport and be repeated every one to three years. The history is the most important aspect of the PPE and should focus on prior cardiovascular complication, a family history of cardiovascular death before 50 years of age, and any other limit medical problem. Please try to be active in protecting your child from having catastrophic event by a simple check and testing by his pediatrician or family doctors who can decide the needs for further evaluation. Because remember, time waits for no one.